Okay, so I have a little silly sample survey here I made here in Qualtrics. Uh, what's important here is if you go to survey flow, I have added an embedded data tracker. So I have a track ID code. So this means when I was sending out my survey link, I added the little track ID onto it. All right, so I go to distributions and we have our anonymous link here. And if I have something like this added, right, we've, we've done this before already, right? We add a little piece to it and we have a little equal sign and we have whatever word we want it to track. What should happen now is when someone takes this survey, the little track ID has been activated here up in the hyperlink, the embedded data code, and Tony should be stored as well as these survey responses. Right, so this person now completed the survey. Now, after your team, of course, has done all this different data collection, you want to actually see how everyone has done, right? You want to see the collective effort of individuals. So the easiest way to do this without having to download the whole data set is just go to reports. And you can see some basic summary statistics here in the reports tab. Um, it's not as useful as it seems because in reality, most of the time, a lot of our survey responses aren't valid. So I don't use the reports very much in Qualtrics uh, unless I'm 100% certain I'm looking at the results that I want. But what we need here is this track ID. And notice this is a little list of all the different people who've taken my survey with different hyperlinks. And since I've just been playing around with this, I, I had Tony twice, Testing, Baker, Andrew. So these are all like different tracking codes and then Andy, Baker, Andrew, Andy, and so on. Now these are all text. Um, ideally, I would love to be able to imagine like, you know, what percent of all of my collected data said Tony, what percent of all my collected data said Baker, because I want to, I want to see, you know, how much effort uh, each person who was distributing the survey did. The easiest way to actually do this, because um, uh, you can't create summary tables of text results in Qualtrics, is to actually just go over to this little dot, dot, dot here and export this. And we're going to export as a CSV file. CSV stands for comma separated values. If you're not familiar with that, what you need to know is this kind of file can just be easily opened in um, Excel. So mine says here, here's the Excel file. Yours might by default not open in Excel. So instead you'd have to actually go into Excel, then go to file, open and navigate to the um, file. Actually, I can show you right here how that works. Sometimes Mac users, the CSV files aren't default. So we just go to file, go to open. And if I go by date modified here, there's my CSV file. And it's really simple, right? It's just uh, it's just the header, the track ID, the variable name, and the list of all the results. But from here, now it's much easier to sort the file and count up and score up, you know, the different um, values. And that's it.